Japanese automaker Honda has chosen a new CEO to guide the auto giant out of its latest recall woes. After six years at the helm, Takanobu Ito will step down from his post as CEO and be replaced by Honda's managing officer. Fortune describes Ito as a feisty former supercar engineer who has shaken up Honda's decades-old tightly-knit supply chain, seeking to trim costs and find more cutting-edge technologies that has rankled local suppliers. Honda's managing officer, on the other hand, seems to be a much more likable figure within the company. A veteran auto analyst said of the switch, I think this is an attempt by Honda to tread a different course with someone who upholds harmony. One of the largest auto recalls in history. Honda supplier and Japanese airbag manufacturer Takata has been responsible for more than 17 million vehicle recalls since 2008 and was linked to six deaths, all of which took place in Honda vehicles. Is a new fit a great fit for you? Honda has also had issues with its new Honda Fit, which has had five different recalls in 12 months. Needless to say, all of this recall trouble has made for a tough year financially for Japan's second largest automaker. The fit crisis led to Honda execs, including CEO Itu, taking a pay cut to help pay for the recall and to seemingly take some responsibility for the incident. And after its third quarter earnings fell by nearly $200 million compared to the same time last year, Honda trimmed its core annual profit forecast by more than 6%. That compared to the number one Japanese car maker and the world's overall best-selling automaker Toyota, which raises forecast for a second time in two quarters and plans to post a record operating profit of $23 billion in 2015. Despite stepping down, E2 will remain on Honda's board and will be an advisor to the Honda company. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrus.